What nobody knows about the SR-71 Blackbird? In the realm of aviation, the SR-71 Blackbird is nothing short of a legend. This extraordinary aircraft, which was designed with innovative technology and veiled in secrecy, advanced the boundaries of flight. The Blackbird is a testament to human ingenuity. From its covert development by the U.S. Air Force, Lockheed, and the CIA to its record-breaking velocities and altitudes, its design and capabilities not only revolutionized aerial reconnaissance, but also made substantial contributions to scientific research. Let us delve into the extraordinary secrets that render the SR-71 an extraordinary feat of engineering. Initially, the SR-71 Blackbird was classified as a secret. The U.S. Air Force, Lockheed, and the CIA, the three organizations responsible for the implementation of the plan, successfully prevented any disclosures regarding the aircraft. The CIA maintained the continuous surveillance of all individuals, including their families, at all times. Even the most innovative components of computer numerical control machining that were employed in its production were kept confidential. President Johnson ultimately unveiled the aircraft in 1964. Constructed from titanium, the SR-71 Blackbird's airframe was initially designed with a single option, the sparsely employed titanium. The rationale was that titanium was the sole metal capable of withstanding the elevated temperatures that the aircraft would encounter at velocities exceeding 2,000 miles per hour. The second reason was the necessity for the aircraft to be lightweight. Steel would be excessively heavy, and aluminum would not be sufficiently heat-resistant or durable. The Covert Weapon of NASA The Blackbird's capabilities were utilized by NASA, the manufacturer of high-quality spacecraft, to assist in their space research initiatives. One of the methods they employed was to install a camera on the SR-71, which facilitated the tracking of celestial objects that were obscured by the Earth's atmosphere. The aircraft was never shot down. Despite numerous attempts, the Blackbirds were never downed by a missile during their entire service tenure. This was due to a single factor. The aircraft simply outpaced the missile. The pilots were able to detect the missile from a distance, allowing them to have advanced warning. Consequently, the plan had a head start even if the missile matched the Blackbird's speed. The plane's interference technology was another extraordinary advantage. It was so advanced that it could prevent the missile from receiving updated locations on the SR-71. It is relatively inexpensive. In 1966, the cost of an SR-71 Blackbird was $36 million, which is approximately $292 million in today's dollars. Consequently, it was relatively inexpensive by today's standards. To provide context, the B-2 Spirit Bomber is priced at an astonishing $2 billion per aircraft. The initial instance of composite materials. The SR-71 Blackbird was constructed using some of the first composite materials to be used on an aircraft. These materials enabled the SR-71 to fly even further under the radar, resulting in a negligible radar signature. The SR-71 was so effective that it had already departed enemy territory by the time the adversary detected it. During the flight, the SR-71 Blackbird expands. One of the most peculiar or intriguing aspects of the SR-71 Blackbird is that it expands during high-speed and high-altitude flights. This would be calamitous in any other aircraft. However, it was anticipated, and expansion joints were strategically positioned on the plane during the initial design to allow the frame to expand without causing any failures. Speed and Altitude Records The SR-71 Blackbird established records for top speed and altitude in 1976, flying at a sustained altitude of 85,069 feet and reaching peak speeds of 2,193 mph. These records have not been surpassed to this day. To place the speed of the SR-71 into perspective, it is important to note that 2,193 mph is three times the speed of sound, while even a modern fighter like the F-22 can only achieve 1,500 mph. Furthermore, the SR-71 assisted NASA in its research on the restoration and preservation of the ozone layer a region of the Earth's atmosphere that absorbs the sun's ultraviolet radiation. Therefore, it also protects the environment. Reliability Concerns The SR-71 Blackbird was notoriously unreliable, a fact that was partially attributable to its complexity, which is one of the least known secrets about it. Twelve of the 32 units that were manufactured were destroyed by accidents, none of which were associated with the adversary. 
The U.S. Air Force, on the other hand, was content to disregard the reliability issues, as the advantages significantly outweigh the disadvantages. Pilots were required to don spacesuits. The pilots were required to don specialized suits while in the air, as the SR-71 is capable of reaching high speeds and altitudes. These suits were pressurized and their headgear was comparable to those worn by astronauts heading into space. To facilitate appropriate breathing at high altitudes, their helmets were connected to an oxygen supply via a hose. The pilot's garments also shielded them from the intense heat that the SR-71 produced at the peak of its speed range. Everything was extremely hot. The SR-71 Blackbird was subjected to extreme temperatures during flight as a result of its high velocities. The majority of the aircraft attained approximately 500 degrees Fahrenheit when operating at maximum speed. Nevertheless, the engine compartment was subjected to an even more intense level of heat, reaching a staggering 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The engineering challenges presented by this extraordinary thermal stress were substantial. To guarantee the aircraft's structural integrity, it was imperative to implement unique materials and design methodologies. The SR-71's efficacy and longevity in service were contingent upon its capacity to endure such high temperatures. After takeoff, the majority of the propellant was introduced. The plan was notoriously unreliable, as previously mentioned. Due to the 80,000 pounds of petroleum on board, a few of the aircraft have experienced tire failure. Following these incidents, it was determined to reduce the launch fuel to 40,000 pounds and subsequently refuel in the air before the commencement of a mission. The Finest Camera's Secrets One of the most sophisticated cameras on board the SR-71 Blackbird is another little-known fact. The camera was capable of capturing images that were 72 miles wide as a result of the high-altitude capabilities of the aircraft and this extraordinary camera. Special tires were necessary for the SR-71 Blackbird. Tire malfunctions were the cause of numerous initial failures. As a result, Lockheed was compelled to work in secret to develop tires that were specifically designed for the Blackbird. The new tire was engineered to withstand the high temperatures that are produced during the landing process and to support the vast weight of the aircraft. Absence of Defensive Capabilities at first glance, it would appear that a plane that was specifically designed for the U.S. Air Force and the CIA would possess the most advanced offensive and defensive capabilities. However, it is important to bear in mind that the SR-71 was a spy aircraft. It did not require offensive capabilities as its stealth, high-altitude capabilities, and ability to outrun missiles were sufficient for defense. A Distinctive Breed of Pilots The SR-71 Blackbird was not the most straightforward aircraft to operate. Consequently, to be considered for the SR-71 pilot position, prospective pilots were required to complete a comprehensive training program that exceeded the already rigorous standards of the U.S. Air Force. In reality, the training was identical to that of NASA astronauts due to the high altitudes and high velocities that the pilots would encounter. In summary, the SR-71 Blackbird is renowned for its extraordinary capabilities and innovative technology, making it one of the most remarkable aircraft in aviation history. The Blackbird redefined the limits of what was feasible, from its covered development and utilization of titanium to endure extreme heat, to its sophisticated reconnaissance systems and high-altitude flight records. The U.S. Air Force and NASA considered it an invaluable asset due to its unmatched speed and stealth despite the necessity of specialized pilots and equipment and reliability challenges. In addition to revolutionizing aerial surveillance, the SR-71 also made significant contributions to critical research, thereby establishing its status as an engineering achievement. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and drop a comment below to let us know what you think.